it's been absolutely fantastic to see the Top Gun teams in here all together and the, the, the passion that the teams bring the uh, technicians and engineers on the floor with their cars, the rest of their team up in the public gallery, cheering them on, looking at what the other teams are doing. This is the first time these things become public uh, and that's very, it's very exciting and it, it can be very tense too. What is exciting is some of the technology that's coming out in this. There are innovations, there are brand new things that are only seen for the first time. There's things that we uh, are in confidentiality agreements until public scrutineering. Once we're here, this is in public. And what we've seen today, the most exciting thing I think we've seen today, is this new uh, solar cell technology from Oxford PV, which is a tandem perovskite cell, very lightweight. This is the first application, the first practical application of this new technology anywhere in the world. And the top Dutch team have got this. It's a bit of an experiment for them. They're hoping it's going to give them a, a, a competitive advantage, but only time will tell. It's been a fantastic afternoon with the cruiser class cars coming through and cruiser class we introduced in 2013 as a link between the purely experimental solar cars and what people might perceive as their daily drive. It's a design competition, there are design parameters, one of which is to make your car look attractive and that's the uh, that's the task every industrial designer has when they sit at their workstation. What is the point of difference for their car? Why might somebody uh, desire their product over the competition? And that's the sort of thing that the judges will be looking at for that component. Of course the car has to travel down to Adelaide, but uh, as we come through the scrutineering hall, it's the first time we've seen some of these absolutely beautiful cars. The car from uh, Hong Kong, for example, or Thailand, uh, and here in Australia, the University of New South Wales has really embraced this class with their entry. And uh, it's got some fantastic innovative features, it's got some interesting technology, and we're looking really looking forward to seeing how that's going to perform on the road. What many people don't get is this isn't just another form of motor race on a different form of fuel. It's an intellectual exercise, it's about energy management, it's about reliability and it's about endurance. It's mankind versus nature. This event will no doubt bring things that add to the pool of human knowledge and hopefully uh, have influence on future technology, things that we've yet to dream of.